Epic adventure story time. I'm on top of a mountain getting ready to bungee jump and my heart is beating like a bass drum in a low rider. I'm in New Zealand having the time of my life. You know, that's where Frodo Baggins is from. You know, Lord of the Kiwis. It's a seven day adventure and it's the first day and Chris, our awesome tour guide says, hey Andy, are you going bungee jumping? Yeah. Which jump are you gonna do? Uh, I'll let you know tomorrow. I'm procrastinating because I am terrified, terrified of bungee jumping. When my ex-girlfriend was in New Zealand a few years ago, she went bungee jumping. And when she found out that I was going, she challenged me to jump. Therefore, my ego is making me jump. That's when I started praying for bad weather. <laughs> And as luck would have it, we experienced seven days of sunshine. The thought of bungee jumping made my heart beat faster, my palms got sweaty. I need to buy a diaper. Listen, I would rather take off all my clothes, run naked down Pearl Street Mall yelling, I love Taylor Swift, I love Taylor Swift, than go bungee jumping. Do you have a fear of bungee jumping, fear of heights? Are you afraid of success, fear of public speaking, spiders, commitment, relationships? <laughs> Don't you love being human? <laughs> I do. Now listen, I know all about the psychology of success, fear of failure, limiting beliefs, law of attraction, NLP, EFT, and THC. Before jumping, I knew I had to get my head straight because I didn't want to stand on that ledge and have a panic attack. Because the thought of swan diving out into nothing, free falling for eight seconds, reaching terminal velocity was freaking me out. Hashtag hell no. Andy, stop, cancel, clear, get the fear out of here. I was like, wait a minute. I have caught in rattlesnakes with my bare hands and a stick. I've walked on fire with Tony Robbins and I grew up in Florida. Then I heard the story. The story that changed everything for me. It's a story about A.J. Hackett and Henry Van Ash. They popularized bungee jumping in New Zealand, but it wasn't catching on with the rest of the world. So they flew to Paris, France. They climbed to the top of the Eiffel Tower, spent the night up there, and at sunrise, A.J. Hackett jumped into the history books. It made headline news around the world and the bungee jumping phenomenon had begun. When I heard that story, I was like, oh, I want to be a part of that story. I want to be one of the courageous ones. So I started asking myself new questions. What do bungee jumpers think? They love swan diving off the edge and free falling. They love terminal velocity and they live for the adrenaline rush. And just before they hit the earth and die, the bungee cord says, not today. It's a rebirth of the soul. It's a second chance to live a fearless life. Because in case you didn't get the text message, life is short and you're gonna die sooner than you think. What's one thing that you would love to do before you die, but right now fear is holding you back? Fear is temporary, regret is forever. Live more, fear less. So immediately I started thinking different thoughts because when you think different thoughts, I started feeling different emotions. I had a new perspective and a new story to tell myself. This isn't about my girlfriend anymore. This is about me overcoming my fears by telling a different story. Now it's the morning of the jump. Chris, Steve, and I are taking the bus up to the top of the mountain, Dead Man's Canyon. And on the bus ride up, they're playing inspirational songs like Nickelback, If Today Was Your Last Day, Tim McGraw, Live Like You Were Dying, and then ACDC. I'm on a highway to hell. <laughs> All right, so there I am. I'm standing on the ledge and I look down. I start to panic. And then I flash back to my hotel room where I had practiced visualizing myself successfully jumping. And I practiced falling onto my bed. And I flip the switch in my brain. I go from fear to courage, from Taylor Swift to 21 pilots and I'm start telling myself the new story. I live for the jump. I'm a yes to the free fall. 
terminal velocity, here I come. Count down with me from three. Here we go. Three, two, one. Roll the video. Wow, that was me! Oh, okay, so let me wrap it up. If you knew you're going to die, and you do, what bogus stories are you telling yourself right now that are holding you back with fear? Fear is temporary, regret is forever. If you think different thoughts, you'll feel different emotions. Bottom line, if you tell a different story, you will live the glory. Live more, fear less. I'm Andy Dooley. Thanks for watching. Please thumb up. Please thumb up. <laughs> Subscribe, share it with a friend. Hey, if you want to download my new book, uh, it's inspired by the teachings of Abraham Hicks. It's called The Five Steps of Being a Deliberate Creator on Planet Earth. There's a link somewhere in here. Download that book, read it. It'll totally rock your world. Have an awesome day. And remember to live more and fear less.